So we're now in a rehearsal room in Camden, devising the film before we shoot tomorrow. It's very quick. And there are Capri Suns and uh, tins of honey being bought in South London as we speak to make everyone covered in black. So really, is that enough technicalities? There are three characters, and the three characters represent the same, and everyone being the same. And they have miniature breakdowns throughout the performance. Uh, it's quite dark, it's quite macabre, and uh, during their breakdowns they cry black ink, and they cover themselves in black ink. Um, and then after that, they actually get covered in black paint. Um, so, you know, it's one for the kids. Oh, that's because of this game that we play. Yeah, so we just stare at him until he cries. I don't know how this film's going to turn out. I'm kind of not panicked by that. It's just going from this slide this move into the hair. I'm not too panicked that I'm not panicked, so that's why I'm panicking. That makes sense, doesn't it? And the rearing. Where did the idea come from? Um, <laughs> from my brain. Uh, this is art, so it shouldn't be questioned, we shouldn't ask anything about it. It just is. Look there, smile, take back, drop. It's directing, it's directing. I mean, I really like Scotty, I really like the, his kind of, his, his kind of weird, sleazy, Take as there's a lot. I think there's a weird sadness in a lot of his his videos and his work and his still photos. I think still photos are really quite kind of um, quite moving. You can just you can read a lot into them. So I'm just hoping that kind of Scotty, my the thing I like about Scotty comes through. Put it underneath my armpit. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, you want it to go over this here, up higher, higher. Yeah. Yeah. And higher on the other one. I'll turn you steps. A lot of my shows are just like appropriating magic tricks. Okay, so let's get me in situ. Go. 